Welcome back to the Urban Suburban Garden. In today's episode, we're going to go over the garden where there's still left growing, which is only a, a bag of potatoes on this side and some carrots and onion, red onions on this side over here. Everything else has been harvested and now I need to do the cleanup and prep it for the winter. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to empty out each one of the containers that no longer hold anything. Oh yeah, and also my strawberry plants are still still growing. But all, all the containers that don't have anything in them, I'm going to dump them into a tarp, roughly in this ballpark right here. And I'm gonna keep that soil covered up throughout the winter. And around about January, on the other side of the fence there, I don't know if you can see it, but I have a compost bin back there that I've been running. And I'm going to compost that soil in January and start prepping it for next spring's growth. So yeah, that's what I'll be doing today. Just giving you a little glimpse of how everything looks now. I'll uh, before I start dumping and moving stuff around, I'll uh, here look a little closer look at the carrots and, and the potatoes over here and see how they're looking. I'm gonna start over here with the uh, white potatoes. This is what they're looking like. growing real nice and then grew a couple rounds of potatoes this season and uh, I threw those in there and hell they took off so yeah in the coming months I expect it to have a nice harvest of potatoes here I already uh, filled the pot all the way up to the top as it was growing and it's growing fantastically in this, this weather so yeah but white potatoes do very well in this climate. It's nice and cool at night, drop into the 50s, even the 40s. Now, during the days, gets in the 60s, sometimes 70s. In the next coming days, for the, actually for the next week, it's gonna go all the way up to the 60s, almost 80 every day. Uh, today's date is October 23rd. So yeah, over here, the strawberries. And again, they're still growing. I haven't really messed with them, I even come out here and harvested any of them. Uh, I wasn't too sure, do I was supposed to cut these things down, the leaves, and they regenerate again for next season. As you can see, there's a few strawberries down in there, still growing. But they, even the flowers are starting to pop up off here. So yeah, if anybody could leave a comment about strawberry plants, uh, what do you do with them in the winter? Here are the carrots, and they're doing great. No problems at all. And these are the couple of red onions that uh, that are growing here. I don't expect to get much out of this, if anything. Probably just leave them in here until next spring. But we'll see. But yeah, let me put you on the tripod and let me get to work. After making this one pile here, I realized that this is going to be too big to just do one. So I'm going to do this two areas here, and I'm probably have to do something over here on this side over here. But yeah, in the coming days, we'll get this all done. I'm not going to get it all done this evening, because I got a kind of late start. But this is just an idea of kind of what I'm going to do. I'll do this in a couple part series. Today I got this far, got it cleaned up, some of it cleaned up. I'll get a little bit more done. And then uh, 
I'll show you the next part of the video where I kind of reorganize this a little bit because I'm also going to open this side of the fence up and move, move this about four feet that way to my uh, walkway for my steps over there. But I'll show you all that in the, in the coming videos. And I also came up with a, a plan to go ahead and move my shed that's over on that side that I showed you in the past up to behind my gazebo area and start building that garden over on that side. So in the videos to come, I got quite a bit to show. Not necessarily growing, but growing the size of my garden. And uh, that's what I'll be doing through the winter, showing you this kind of stuff here. And keeping an eye on a, loop, a couple things that I do have growing in here. All right, that's the end of part one. I already ended the video, but I wanted to come back and show you what I did once I uh, actually stopped the last part of the video. Cleaned out this section here. This is where the last section of corn was. You can see those wet spot there, squares, where the squares were. All the soil is piled up right there. So there was uh, quite a few uh, of the sections of the squares that was out here. There's all that soils right there. And I still have all of this to go. That's all I have for you in this part. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, share and subscribe. And until part two, should be about three, maybe four parts of the video. But until part two, keep growing.